doubt about it. It's the strain 25 space virus. Do you have any serum on Orpheus 2? No, we don't. We've never needed it before. I'll check with Galaxy Medical Central. Fast as you can, huh, Doctor? Fast as I can. Don't worry, Stella. As soon as he gets the serum, Charlie will be fine. Marshall here. Let's go! I'm being attacked! Molly, where are you? I'm just past Higgins Corner, near the... Molly, where are you? Molly? Come in, Molly. Another stage robbery. Try to rest, Stella. Doc will find that serum for Charlie. Oh, thank you, Marshall. You're a good friend. Are you all right? I'm okay, but I feel a lot better when you catch those ornery space rats. They took the stage and headed that way. I'll send someone to fetch you. Come on, partner. Let's see if we can pick up their tracks. <laughs> Easy now. This is a great place for an ambush. You're thinking more like me every day. Well, nobody's perfect. What is it? Shh. Ears of the wolf. Ears of the wolf. Boy, that sure was easy. Uh, wouldn't have been if this engine had conked out earlier. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. I've heard enough. We're going through. Strength of the bear! The bear! The bear! The bear. Hold it right there. Guess you didn't hear me. All right, now where's the strong box? What strong box? You see any strong box, Bart? No. Nope. Your tracks lead right here from the strato stage. Sure they do. We passed it when we came here. You gonna arrest us for walking by a stage? <laughs> no, for robbing it. <laughs> There's nothing in the comp file on either one of them. They're not wanted anywhere. We're innocent, we tell you. JB, I got a gut feeling about them being involved with those other robberies. Oh, Brave Star, all you heard was one of them say it was easy. Now you didn't find the strong box. You don't have any solid evidence. You hear that, Marshal? You've got no solid evidence. And I'm gonna hold them until I find some solid evidence. Hold them? You know better than that. I know a couple of crooks when I see them. Well, thank goodness the law doesn't put people in jail because you think they're crooks. You tell them, Judge. <laughs> Listen, you. You better... That's enough, Marshal. Deputy Fuzz, release the prisoners. Letting them go is a big mistake. And keeping them in jail without proof is a bigger one. <laughs> This'll stop the stage. <laughs> Say, Bart, didn't you love the way the judge told the marshal uh, off yesterday? <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, this'll block the road for sure. Let her go! Find anything, Marshal? Nothing. They took the strong box and just disappeared. Wow, that's four robberies in four days. You don't have to remind me. This time they used a boulder to stop the stage. The driver was hurt trying to stop in time. You gonna be all right? Yeah, he's lucky. Of course, none of this would have happened if we'd kept those two in jail. You're not blaming me for that. Well, who should I blame? Are you saying that I should let you lock up two people without any evidence? Marshal! Marshal Bravestar! 
Marshal, we found the serum to cure Charlie's virus. It should get here in a few hours. That's good news, Doc. I'll go tell Stella. She's going to be one happy wife. Well, look who's here. The pretty judge and the eager marshal and our little buddy. Hey, you can't do that. <laughs> I already did. If you're looking for trouble, you found it. Easy, Marshal. He's just kidding. <laughs> Come on, Billy. Let's get something to eat. <laughs> JP, I'm positive those two are involved in those robberies. Breaking the table isn't going to prove it, Marshal. You're right, but I am going to prove it. Just be sure you do it legally. Maybe you'd like to come along and be sure. I think that's a good idea. So how long are we going to follow them? Until they lead us to the rest of the gang. Another one of your gut feelings? Well, the only thing my inside is telling me is that I'm hungry. Uh-oh. They're separating. I'll follow Billy. You take Bart. Good. Let's go. Stay out of sight and keep in touch on the communicator. Any other orders, Marshal? Yes. Be sure and get some solid evidence. And be careful. Maybe I'll buy you dinner later. <laughs> Looks like he doubled back here. Hold it right there and turn around easy like. Don't move. Don't you even blink. Oh! One thing I hate is to lose my man. Is he all right? I just took a nasty hit on the head. Thanks, Marshal. I, I owe you one. You know something, Marshal? I'm, I'm glad you caught me. I'm tired of being a robber, hiding from the law, always on the run. It's a rotten way to live. If you felt that way, why didn't you stop? Because I wanted to watch over Billy. He's my kid brother. Your brother? Now that's a new twist on brotherly love. JB. Brave Star calling JB. You wanted evidence? Well, I got it. Come in, JB. Brave Star to JB. JB, come in. Okay, you guys. Let's see how tough you are against this. Uh. Hello there, Judge. <laughs> Brave Star to JB. Come in, please. JB's in trouble. Let's find her. Marshal, Doc Clayton. You read me? I read you, Doc. <laughs> the stage with the serum is late. Charlie's taking a turn for the worse. He needs that serum, Marshal. He needs it fast. Please, Marshal, find that strato stage before... <laughs> before it's too late. I'll find it, Stella, and that's a promise. We've got our work cut out. JB and the strato stage are both missing. Come here. I can't spend the time taking you back to lock you up. And you'd only slow us down if I took you with us. So I'm turning you loose. I don't believe what I'm hearing. But don't think I won't catch up with you again. You're gonna pay for what you've done. But if you meant what you said, you can start making things right by finding your brother and stopping him from what he's doing. Well, I've tried before. I'll try again. Thanks, Marshal. Let's ride, partner. And I do mean ride. <laughs> <laughs> you just hang on. I'll do the rest. Her tracks head into those rocks. Looks as if she got off here and walked. JB, are you there? JB! I'm here! But watch out! You heard her. Let's not keep the lady waiting. I also heard her say watch out. It could be a trap. Could be. Keep a sharp eye. Boxed in! Brave Star! 30-30! Oh, 
Thank heavens you're all right. It's all in a day's work. Now, what happened here? Well, Billy met the gang. He's their leader. They robbed this strato stage. Go on. Say I told you so. I told you so. Well, I'd do the same thing again if you didn't have reasonable proof. I know you would. They've taken everything, including Charlie's medicine. Doc said Charlie couldn't hold out much longer. We'd better get after him while we still have some light. It's a big desert. Which way do we go? The best place to hide around here is Steam Flats. Right. Well, if it isn't my big brother. I've been looking for you, Billy. <laughs> Bart, you always said robbing would get me into hot water. <laughs> it looks like you are the one that got wet. <laughs> hmm, not one of my favorite places. You're not gonna let a few hot geysers bother you. Sure I am. There they are, all neat in one package. If we rush them, they'll pick us off like sitting ducks. Hmm. As I remember from my science class, all those thermal pools are connected. What are you gonna do? Give them a hot shower. JB, get your hammer ready. Now what I need is a big straw. And that hollow log should be just the thing. Strength of the bear! The bear! The bear! The bear! The bear. That's what I call falling down on the job. You okay? <laughs> Nothing hurt but my pride. Here's two of the beauties right here. Nice work, JB. That one will be down soon. You take them all back to town. We're going after the others. We've got to get that medicine back. Yeah, let's see what that coach was carrying. Must be worth a fortune to use a whole coach just for this. Emergency package, medical serum, delivered to Doc Clayton. Ah, it's nothing but medicine! This ain't worth nothing! No, wait a minute. If this is needed for an emergency, it's gotta be worth something. A man's life may depend on that. <laughs> All the better! Yeah! Could be worth a lot. Maybe even enough to spring free the boys the marshal's locked up. Billy, you can't do that. Someone needs that medicine bad. Sure. <laughs> we do. To get my boys out of jail. This time you've gone too far. Now, <laughs> I gotta write me a ransom note to the marshal. It's too dark to find any tracks. Shh. Mm, well, looky here. He's all wrapped up, and it isn't even Christmas. What's this about? Read the note. So your brother wants to trade the medicine for those two prisoners. Well, come on. We can follow this Turbo Mule's heat track back to the game. If you storm into camp, Billy just assumed Pour out the medicine. I'm sure he would. Well, then what do we do? I've got to talk to Stella. Please, Marshal, give them what they want. Stella, I just can't let those prisoners go. We can't give in to threats. Charlie needs that serum. I know, 
Believe me, I know. But Billy is like any other terrorist. If we give in this time, if they see what they can get away with, there'll be another time, and another, and another. What do you want to do? I want to go in and get Billy. But if I do, there's a chance he'll destroy the serum before I can stop him. That serum means my husband's life. I know. Tell me, what do you think Charlie would want me to do? Well, you know Charlie. He wouldn't want you to give in. It's up to you, Stella. I don't have the right to take a chance on Charlie's life. Not without your permission. Tell me what to do. Go get him, Marshal. Thank you, Stella. You said before you owed me one. Tell me, where's your hideout? I'm not gonna help you catch my brother. I'm asking you to save a man's life, and maybe save your brother's too. What do you mean? If he keeps on committing crimes, eventually he's gonna get hurt real bad. You don't want that to happen, do you? No, I don't, no. Bad as he is, he's still my brother. Then where's the hideout? Take me with you and I'll show you exactly where. All right, come on. The camp is just over this rise. If Billy sees you, he's sure to destroy that serum. You have any ideas? Yeah, let me go in alone. Maybe I can talk him into giving it to me. Go ahead, but no tricks. No, no tricks, Marshal. Hmm, you trust that guy? I think so. He loves his brother, and he doesn't want to see him get hurt. But maybe he wants to see you hurt. Golly, I didn't think you cared. Well, it'd be too much work breaking in another Marshal. <laughs> Let's listen in and hear what's happening. Ears of the wolf, of the wolf, of the wolf. Well, it's the big brother. Give me the medicine, Billy. You gonna let the boys go? Billy, let me have it. Listening's finished. Time for some action. Music to my ears. You think Sarah can hit that rock? <laughs> Sarah can hit anything I can see. Good, then do it. That'll keep the dingo busy while I go for the medicine. See you later, pard. Okay, Billy, cool it. You can say goodbye to the serum. No, Billy, no! Speed of the puma, puma, puma. You can stop the dancing lessons now. And just as well. Guy has no rhythm anyway. You, you turned me in! I had to, for your own good. Yeah, my own brother tricked me. No, Billy. You tricked yourself when you thought you could beat the law. His pulse is back to normal. All's well. The medicine did the trick. Stella, Charlie's gonna be just fine. Oh, thank heaven. What are you gonna do about Bart? He, he did help you get the medicine. I'm sure the judge will do the right thing. And speaking about the right thing, it's time you bought me that dinner you promised. You have any solid evidence I promised you dinner? <laughs> no, but I sure got this gut feeling, and it's called being hungry. That's good enough for me, Judge. Hello, Stella. Hello, darling. In today's adventure, Bart tried to persuade his brother Billy to give up a life of crime. But Billy wouldn't listen to his brother. If he had, he probably wouldn't have gone to jail. Have you ever felt that you'd take advice from anyone except your brother or sister, or even your mother or father? If you have, you could be making a big mistake. No one cares as much for you as your family. So when they give you advice, it's a good idea to listen carefully. Because what they say comes from loving and caring.
mug of sweet water. With ice. Make it snappy. <sighs> That's Luke Jones, that no-good bounty hunter. <sighs> that hound dog. He's put away a few of our buddies. <sighs> I wonder what poor guy he's looking for around here. Yeah, that snake sent my brother to the roughest prison planet in the galaxy. Oh, it's time I took care of some long overdue family business. Hey, hey, be ready to back me up. Luke Jones! That's my name. What's yours? Uh, Dingo Dan. I got a message from my brother. Hey, there'll be none of that in here! <laughs> Okay, Marshal, your move. Marshal, Marshal, come! Father Drake Booth, hurry! Be back there, Fuzz. How come, whenever you're losing, Deputy Fuzz calls you away? That's what makes him a good deputy. See you later. I gotta check a patient at the first in mine. <laughs> Now just knock it off. That's enough for today. I'll pay for the chandelier handlebar. The rest will be paid by everybody. Just drop your money off with a handlebar. Say, aren't you Luke Jones, the bounty hunter? I am. What's it to you, Marshal? Deputy, get that man! Good work, Fuzz. Handlebar, will you lock him up? I need Fuzz here. Glad to, Marshal. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. What brings you to New Texas? I'm looking for a criminal. You know him? Doc. Had a heck of a time tracking him here. But the big reward's gonna be worth the effort. What's he wanted for? For stealing a shipment of medical supplies from a mining company. That's ridiculous. He's not a thief. Where can I find him? Jones, you've quite a reputation, and it's all bad. And I tell you, I don't like the way you do things. Marshal, we're both in the same business, bringing in criminals. But I bring mine in alive. He's a wanted man, Marshal, which gives me the legal right to bring him in. Dead or alive. Ah, we'll get Jones and the reward money. But first, we're gonna bust Goldtooth out of jail. Uh, how are we gonna do that? No dingo can get near that jail. Remember, <laughs> I'm no ordinary dingo. I'm Dingo Dan! <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? I've got a galaxy gram for the marshal. He's not here. You can sign for it. Well, uh, all right. Master partner, we've got to get to Doc before that bounty hunter. <laughs> What are you going to do when we find Doc? I don't know. Whoa, big partner. First it's faster, now it's whoa. Make up your mind. Stop your gumming. There's something out there. Ears of the wolf. Ears of the wolf. <laughs> I was afraid of. We're being followed. 
probably that bounty hunter. In that case, let's give him something to follow. Good idea. Uh, hey, what, what are you talking about? Run that way and make a lot of noise. That should be easy for you. You know, for a human, you got a lot of horse sense. And for a horse, you talk too much. Now move it. <laughs> Doc, you okay? I'm okay, but this blasted turbo mule is deader than a doornail. What brings you out here? You, Doc. There's a bounty hunter looking for you. Damn. Thought that was all behind me. I figured they'd given up looking for me. He said you stole some medical supplies. What do you think? I don't believe you could do that. Thanks. I am innocent. Innocent? <laughs> That's what every criminal says. Jones, you followed me. I did. Dr. Sam Perkins, alias Dr. Benjamin Clayton, under Space Law 139.75, I hereby arrest you. My arrest, my reward. Well, before you take me in, I'd like to look in on my patient. Forget it. You're not running out on me. You're coming the hard way or the easy way. Your choice. But I've got a really sick patient. Those cuffs won't be necessary. Marshal, he's officially my prisoner, and I ain't gonna give him any chance to escape. Now get out of the way! Firing at us! Don't know, but they're somewhere behind those trees. It's been down pretty good. Marshal, I want you to know the truth about what happened in that mine. I reported the mine medically unsafe. I said I wouldn't allow any miners inside until it was made safe. The company was pretty angry. Then some medical supplies were stolen. They accused me of stealing them. I ran away. I believe you, Doc. But running away never solves any problem. Put down your guns and come out nice and easy. <laughs> You're trapped. He's got a point there. 3030, where are you? I'm on the rise behind the oasis. I come running when I heard the shooting. I guess that decoy idea of yours sure didn't work. That's what I get for using horse sense. Look, when we start firing, come at them from behind. Got it. You know something? You really can't do anything without me. Move it. I'm moving, I'm moving. Brave stuff. Give me a freeze ray. I can help. Forget it, prisoner. You just sit tight. It's all right, Doc. Let's go. Hit it, 3030. That was too close. Let's get out of here. Where are you going, party poopers? Where'd my prisoner go? Doc, where are you? I'll tell you where he is. He hightailed it out of here, and it's your fault for not letting me handcuff him. Tell me, Marshal, you still believe he's innocent? I knew he'd run off as soon as he had a chance. And it's your fault, Marshal. If it weren't for you, I'd have cuffed him and put him in chains. Nothing will convince me Doc is guilty of doing anything wrong. I know that now. Toss your weapon over here. Jones, I don't think you're playing with a full deck. Put that laser down. You, toss that cannon over here. Do as he says, pard. <laughs> Since Doc didn't want it the easy way, he's gonna get it the hard way. And to make sure you don't interfere with me again, pleasant dreams. I've used this to put a lot of varmints to sleep, but you're my first marshal. <laughs> Have a nice rest.
he wouldn't go back to town, so he must have headed into the desert. Now all I gotta do is reel the fish in. <laughs> Rise and shine. A beauty rest does you no good at all. Oh, thanks. How long have we been out? About two hours. Oh, we've got to find Doc before Jones does. You mind telling your partner where we're heading? The fearsome mine. Doc would never forget a patient. But Jones has a two-hour head start. Yeah, but I know the shortcut. We should be seeing the mine any minute now. I hope so. Any more of this desert and I'll turn into a camel. Could be an improvement. Uh oh look at those mounds. Giant sand crabs. They won't cause any trouble if they're left alone. Ooh, I'd be the last one to bother those crazy critters. There's the mine. I don't see Doc's turbo mule. I better take a look around. Eyes of the Hawk! Uh-oh. There he is, with Jones. But they're prisoners. Hmm. Only one guard. Let's go. Marshall is headed this way. Let's get out of here. I don't want to mess with him. Well, look here. <laughs> A stampede of angry giant sand crabs should keep the Marshall busy. Very busy. <laughs> They're stampeding the crabs. Well, they're not gonna stop us from saving the dock. Let's turn them away. That may be easier said than done. Mm, what do you call them, pussycats? Stop crabbing. Oops, sorry I said that. I like action, but this is ridiculous! Strength of the bear! what I call a couple of crabby crabs. Come on, before they turn back over. It's time to give that dingo a taste of quick justice. Going. That dingo may have friends around. Yes, he does. Take off my handcuffs and let me help. Go ahead, Jones. And give this rotten thief another chance to escape? No way. Jones, I've had enough of you. No, Brave Star. It's all right. <laughs> Keep them busy. I'm gonna take a look. It'll be a pleasure. Eyes of the Hawk. There's two of them. Make that three. Three of them on the ridge. Duck? 
It's not good. But I can't tell how bad unless you take off these blasted handcuffs. Well, I'm all right. But one false move and I'll... We're gonna rush him. We'll hold him down there until it's dark and starts freezing. And then we'll rush him. Doc, stay with Jones. Yeah, wh what you gonna do? What has to be done before it gets dark. You crazy giving him a gun? Marshal, I'm gonna have your badge. We'll see about that later. Doc, we're gonna try to get behind them. Give us lots of fire cover. You ready, pard? <laughs> we're ready and waiting. Go ahead. Here's your chance to escape. If, if I can just freeze his head, he'll he'll let loose. Got him. Quiet. Let's move before he warms up. I'll take the one with the fancy hat. You can have the other two. That's very generous of you. Just say the word. Okay, the word. Oh, uh, greetings from Sarah Jane. Let's you get around him. You go that way. Come on out, you varmints! Come on, go to I got him! That's what you think! <laughs> you let go my Sarah Jane! <laughs> That'll teach that coyote to mess with my baby! Going somewhere? I, 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 I Marshal, I, I was prospecting. And I heard shooting, so I, I hid. I, I don't know anything about all of this. Changing your face is a neat trick. Too bad you didn't change that fancy hat of yours, too. Just keep those checkers warm, Marshal. I'll be back soon. Before we go, I want to ask you something. Why'd you stick around and fix me up when you could have run off? Because I'm a doctor. Let's go. I'm ready. You're not going anyplace. But I want to go back to clear myself. I am innocent. And I believe that now. Don't worry. I'll find the real thief. Remember, I always get my man. Right, Marshal? <laughs> He's letting Doc go. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Funny, you don't look like a monkey. But then again, you could look like a monkey's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we all learned something today. We did. Doc learned when you've got a problem, it won't disappear by running away. Right. The only way to solve a problem is by facing it. Say, uh, what did you learn today? To stay away from giant crabs. <laughs> you can say that again. Okay. To stay away from giant crabs. You know what I learned? You've got a rotten sense of humor. <laughs> Is this where we go underground? Uh-huh. Entrance down. You follow for us? Now, just a carrium digging mint. How in tornation are we supposed to get through this sand? Hey! Mm. Where you are? Oh, dumb fuss. I forget you can't get home. It's okay. I make one for you. 
little prairie people have the biggest store of terrium on the planet. Why can't I get it? <coughs> it's not easy. What? What? Speak up, you flea-bitten fur brain. It's not easy, but I... <coughs> no secret tunnel. A secret tunnel? Into the prairie people's kingdom? Take me there. I want that carrium treasure now! Mm, that's a mighty large mess of carrium, Chief Tussle. Yes! It's very important to fairy people. Carrium energy keep kingdom toasty and help heal sick peoples. Good. But carrium also fuels starships. If Tex Hex comes after this treasure... It matter not! We have protection! A force dome. But what if they try to break through it? It's very bad. Carrium chain reaction start. Look, when chain reaction start, more lights blink. When all lights blink, big explosion. But his secret switch in deep tunnel to stop explosion. Besides, not even Tex Hex want to blow up whole kingdom. I hope you're right, Chief. But you never know what Tex will do. Oh, where is it? Where's the secret tunnel? I find it! I find it! What happened? Scuzz! Where'd you go? Scuzz! Scuzz! If you don't come out of there, I'm gonna... Oh, rats! I'll be back, and I'll get in there if I have to blast my way in. Where be I? Mm, Scuzz find Carrium for Hex Tex. Thanks for letting us check out the Carrium treasure, Chief Tussle. We'll do all we can to help you protect it. We better get moving, boys. You, is okay if I come slay you, Marshal? Sure, Fuzz, but why? Well, I do. Fuzz wants to visit our old girlfriend, Wazella. Is too far, so pretty, pretty. Oh, I see. Well, take your time, Fuzz. Just be careful on your way back to town. Take another look around before we head back. Me gonna find that treasure! Oh, I hope you will remember me. Oh, me sorry. Hey, watch where you go! Boys! Mm, nothing here but sand. 
sand and flies. Maybe and maybe not. Ears of the wolf, the wolf, the wolf. <laughs> What is it? What do you hear? The sand sledge, close by. Mm, it's Tex. Let's go stomp him! Take it easy, big pard. I think you're about to get all the action you can handle. No chance. Never too much action for me! <laughs> New machine better work. No doubt about it, Great One. If there's a tunnel here, the sand digger will find it. At your command, the sand digger. Good. Good. Turn it on. Turn it on. Found them just in time. Those coyotes are digging into the Prairie People Kingdom. Not if we have anything to say about it. Uh -oh. Oh, now me get you. A long wait, Tex. Great star. Can't stop my sand digger. Time to do some serious stomping. Sweet gal. She sure is. That blast just opened up the secret tunnel. See you later! <laughs> After him! Which way Tex go? Hard to tell, part. But if I remember right, the Carrium treasure room's this way. And since the Carrium's what they're after, we'll head them off at the old pass. Switch! 
there was a switch to stop the countdown. There is, but turn it to switch just came in. No way to stop it. Prairie people must leave kingdom. Quick, get families and leave. You better get to safety yourself, Chief Tussle. 30 and I'll make sure Tex gets out too. You're a good man, Marshal. Be careful. Get ready. That varmint should be here any minute. problem there, Tex. You see those blinking lights up there? When the fifth light starts blinking, that carrium's gonna blow. You're all gonna be right in the middle of the darndest explosion you've ever seen. Fat lot of good the carrium will do you then. Let's go, Pard, before this place vaporizes. Hmm. What? Are you sure? Hey, you expect me to believe that? What, what, what if he's telling the truth? Yes, let's get out of here. We ain't going nowhere, you miserable cowards, until we load up on this carrier. But, 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 Brave Star said. I don't care what Brave Star said. Now go find an ore cart while I crack open this dome. We gonna leave them there? Shh, noopsie. Sometimes the best way to deal with evil, Big Pard, is just to let it turn on itself. I don't know about you, but, but I'm getting out of here. Hey! Stop, cowardly coyotes! Mm, come on. Let's get Tex. Wait. You've got one more minute, Tex. <laughs> Brave Star, you can't fool me. This thing ain't gonna blow. But you're not sure, are you, Tex? Is it worth taking a chance? You're, you're not scaring me. I, I ain't afraid. <laughs> I don't need to scare him in hell. I'm getting out 
<laughs> Always count on a coward like Tex to take off when things get too hot. Now we better find Fuss. Fuss, Deputy Fuss, this is Brave Star. Do you read me? Turn on your locator. We'll find you. <sighs> He's done, Mouse. That's it. Let's go. We're almost there. Whoa! Watch your step, big fella. Oh, it's terrible danger. Yuck. You've switched now, too, no. Oh, where would people skin? Must be a way to get over there. Wait, the rocket rope. But there won't be time for me to climb down on it. I'll have to find a faster way. <laughs> Hang on to this part. I'll be counting on you. What are you up to? Just watch and pray. And don't let go of that rope. Here goes. Phew, that was close. Oh, oh, oh Mouse, Mouse, hurry, push switch. Of my job. I couldn't have done it without the help of my two pals. It's so strange, Mouse, but Scourge helps me. He saves my life. And did you do anything for him? Uh huh. Me helps him when Tunnel collapsed. Good deeds come back to you, Fuzz. That's a good thing to remember. Well, let's head back. Head back? Oh, I assume. All right. If Fuzz could, I will. I mean, uh. You earned a little time, Fuzz. And I don't blame you for wanting to spend it with Wazella. No, oh, Fuzz, thank you. <laughs> and Wazella, thank you. You know something, Mouse? Most of the time, Cousin Scurs is not nice. Me very surprised today when Scurs helped save my life. I know what you mean, Fuzz. But if we try hard enough, we usually find there's a little good even in the worst of people. It's true. Me learn something else, too. What's that? It's always better to look for the good in people's. You're right. Sometimes we might find it where we least expect it. Oh! You're frozen! Ah, frozen period in the pods, and the plane, we're taking everything. And that's a Fufta ship! And the crane are loading her! We better tell Brave Star. Well, <laughs> you look busy. Ah, uh, just the way I like it, JB. Nice and quiet. Mm, it's too quiet, if you ask me. No activity, nothing to do. When are we gonna see some action? Think positive, 3030. 30. Use the time constructively. What do you think I'm doing? I'm putting a new turbo booster on Sarah Jane. A turbo booster? You planning to blow up a mountain or something? Those things are dangerous, 3030. 30. Turbo boosters can blow up. Now, just rest easy, Judge. I've got this safety override. As long as that's on, there's no problems, no danger. I don't know. Aren't you spending too much time on Sarah Jane? <clears throat> too much time? Why, how can you say that? 
Sarah Jean deserves all the time I can give her. All the time, yes. But I'm not so sure it's a good idea to give her all that extra power. Hmm, there you go again, Marshal. Being a worry wart. Why, I... Gravestar! Gravestar! The crane shot down some fuftas just north of Scrap Canyon. Yeah, and they're loading the ship right now! JB, round up a posse. We'll meet you out there. Come on, guys. Bravestar, no. You're outnumbered. Don't fret none, JB. Bravestar will be safe as a babe with me and Sarah Jane by his side. <laughs> Get there, 3030. You haven't tested that turbo booster yet. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of hurting those poor little crane. <laughs> if you have no valuables, maybe we can sell you. Yeehaw! Oh, look. They are using weapons. Hide under the ship. Easy, 3030. Oh, I ain't gonna hurt them. Just teach them some manners. Looks like they aren't impressed. Fine by me. <laughs> I'm turning on the turbo booster. Then don't fire it near the Fufta ship. Aim at that butte up ahead. If I know the cranks, they won't want to face anything as powerful as a turbo booster. What? They are too strong! Run! Run! <laughs> Are you folks okay? No! Stop! You must stop! We don't want any shooting! We know you Fuftas hate violence, but we're just trying to protect you. Uh, we permit no weapons to be used for our sakes. If you don't stop, we must surrender to the Kang. Surrender? <laughs> there must be something wrong with his fuel mixture. Maybe, but Fuftas would rather be slaves than see weapons used. We'll help him some other way. Just what are you planning on doing? Well, I thought we'd drop in on the Krang. We're hit! I don't mean to complain, Marshal, but we're heading for that ridge! Mm. Ready to jump. Now! Oh no! <laughs> I done lost Sarah Jane! <laughs> Well, looks like the Krang have skedaddled from these parts. You need not have risked your lives for us. We do not believe in weapons. And we did not ask you to interfere with your shooting to save us. Come on, come on, let's go. I lost my Sarah Jane. <laughs> she might be dinged up. We gotta find her. We knew not you lost a friend. We will help. What does she look like? <laughs> She's only the finest handheld positronic cannon on the planet. Wow, a cannon. Can I help you look for it? No, we will not help you look for a weapon. Well, thanks for nothing. So your name's Gurmy, huh? Mine's Wild Child. Would you like to play? Sometimes Omish lets me skate in the cargo hold. Well, you can't skate on desert sand. Want to play Brave Star and Tex-Hex with us? Sure. 
How do we play? Well, you just pretend you're Brave Star and you're going against Tex Hex and his outlaws. They do not use weapons, even make believe ones. You cannot play your game. Gurmy may never ever play at fighting or the other games you play. This is for new Texans, not foofters. Sorry, Gurmy. Come on, guys. Let's go play in Scrap Canyon. Uh, now I'll never get them to play with me. <laughs> Where are you looking for Sarah Jane? Downrange of the crash. That's where she most likely landed. Time's a wasting. Somebody's always telling me what to do. Gurmy, don't fight. Gurmy, don't shout. Boy, I never have any fun. Site, but there's no sign of Sarah Jane. <laughs> if some no good scavenger took her. Gurmy may never ever play at fighting or the other games you play. This is for new Texans, not foofters. This is for new Texans, not foofters. No wonder we are different. Whoa. I bet if I show this to Wild Child and the others, they'll like playing with me. I better see if it works, though. Whoa, that's Sarah Jane's safety override. It must have fallen out. How could it fall out? I thought you fixed Sarah Jane. Well, <laughs> I was in a hurry and... Wait, I hear something. I don't. Shh. Ears of the wolf! Oh, oh, oh. It's Sarah Jane's overload warning. Uh oh, that means the turbo's on. And that means an explosion if we don't find her. <laughs> that way. Let's ride, partner. We'll track down the beep. <laughs> making that noise. I hope whoever took her knows how to turn her off. Eyes of the Hawk! Oh. oh no. One of the Fufta children has Sarah Jane. Maybe I can turn off the beep. Look out! We'll be crushed! Head for that crevasse in the wall. <laughs> I'm hidden! Wow! Neato! Wait till I show the guys what... <laughs> well, we got away from the avalanche. Now all we gotta do is get out and take Sarah Jane from that boy. Looks like we're sealed in. Unless we decide to climb for it. And just how do we climb a smooth wall? Just goes to show you can't trust nobody. Who'd think a foofta kid would swipe my Sarah Jane? He's probably never seen anything like it before. Ooh, that's supposed to make me feel better? Nope, just understanding. <laughs> if anything happens to that boy, it'll be his own fault. You know, Big Pard, I don't think you'd feel that way if he gets hurt. All right, you made your point. 
<laughs> Any idea where he went? I mean, not that I'm worried about him or anything. Nope. <clears throat> I want to find Sarah Jane before that turbo booster builds up too much power. Well, I'm worried too, Part. We gotta find him before there's an accident. And I know who can help. Welcome, my son. What brings you here today? A young Fufta has taken Sarah Jane. Uh, you should be more careful. <laughs> I know, I know. It's important we find him before the turbo booster overloads and explodes. Can you help us? No, but you can help yourself. Mm, think back, Brave Star. Remember the time when you were a young one. I got him! Easy there. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just want to show you off to some, some people. Is it important to you that other boys be impressed? I say, they don't want to play with me because I'm new here. But capturing a spitting scorpion will make them sit up and notice. Simon, he spit on me with his poison. Of course he did. Scorpions can be dangerous. If you play with them, you can get hurt. This ointment will neutralize the poison. It is foolish to try to show off to others with power or danger, young Brave Star. You must show them what you are. Of course. He must be taking Sarah Jane to Fort Carrium to impress the other children. Thank you, Shaman. <clears throat> Fort Carrium? We gotta get back, Brave Star! Sarah Jane can shoot the town full of holes if that kid ain't careful. Or even worse, blow the whole place into orbit if she overloads. Mm, go. May the good spirit guide you. How much time before Sarah Jane explodes? If the kid shut her off, no problem. If he didn't, maybe we've got as little as 20 or 30 minutes before the turbo booster goes kablammo. Then we better ride and not talk. Excuse me, Judge. Sorry to bother you. No bother, Omish. Come in. What is it? What can I do for you? It's my son, Gurmi. He hasn't returned, and I'm afraid he may have gone to look for that terrible weapon. What terrible weapon? A big rifle. I believe it's called Sarah Jane. Your son has gone to look for Sarah Jane? That is what I fear. Oh, that's not good. Sarah Jane is very powerful and very safe in 3030's hands. But she could be extremely dangerous if your son finds her. My son has been taught never to play with weapons. Any weapons. Your son is a child, Omish. He barely knows what a weapon is. And I promise you, he has no idea of the kind of terrible power Sarah Jane can unleash. Please, help me find him. I'll do my best, Omish. Let's find the Marshal. <laughs> You're out! We're leading two Breamies to a Preem! Huh? Hi, Gurmy. Gosh, I thought you weren't supposed to play our games. Well, I guess I can watch. Okay, but just stand back so you don't get hit. Hey, I found something real interesting out in one of the canyons. Wanna see it? I don't know. Maybe. What is it? Well, I'm not telling, but I know you'll like it. Come and take a look. <laughs> Marshal, we need your help. Omish's son is missing. Missing? And Omish thinks he may be looking for Sarah Jane. I'm afraid he's found her. We saw a fufta child with Sarah Jane. It must have been Gurmy. And he had the weapon? Sure did. Oh, no. It's important we find him, quickly. JB, do you know where the children play? At the vacant lot near Handlebars. Do you think that's where he is? Let's hope so. And let's hope that we get there in time. See? Wow! Look at that! Yeah! Where'd you get this? It looks like 3030's gone. No, it's mine. I found it. What's that beeping sound? I, I don't know. Bet you don't know how to use it. But I do. First, you flip this, then you push that, and then you turn this. What was that?
I don't think any of us are going to like the answer. I, uh, I don't like the sound Sarah Jane's making. We better get out of here. No, please, come back. Wild Child, you look frightened. What was that explosion? Well, one of the Fulfta kids found Sarah Jane and fired her. Oh, no, my son. Is the gun making a beeping sound? It sure is. I got out of there as fast as I could. It's bad news, JP. Keep everybody in town while I handle it. Speed of the Puma! Puma! <laughs> <laughs> he ain't leaving me behind this time. Hang on. Oh! I better put this back where I found it. <laughs> he should be something. Oh, no. To her beep! Shut her off, Brave Star! Huh? I took it out, but it won't shut off. The turbo's ready to blow! Get rid of it! <laughs> All of Scrap Canyon will go up! Yeah! Oh, my! Phew! Double phew. I apologize for Gurmi. He knows better than to touch weapons. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make friends with the other kids. You don't do it that way, Gurmi. As a very wise man taught me, if they only like you for the things you have, they aren't worth having as friends. Maybe, Omish, Gurmi's new friends would like to play his games. Uh, perhaps you are right, Brave Star. I don't want you playing with weapons, Gurmi. But you can invite the Fort Garium children over to play Fufta games. Can I? Great! Thanks and thank you, Marshal and 3030. You're very welcome, Gurmi. Just play safely. Looks like the excitement is all over, Brave Star. I'll see. And for once, I don't think 3030 will mind. What a day! You know something? That little Gurmi could have been hurt. Hurt? He could have been killed. No, Sarah Jane wouldn't do a thing like that. Sarah Jane isn't a person. Sarah Jane's a machine. And machines don't know right from wrong. Yeah, but... No buts, Bard. A gun in the hands of a child is an invitation to an accident. It's like a bomb ready to explode. A real gun isn't a toy. Don't ever touch one. Promise? <laughs>